ABF featherweight title. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, give them hell at the bell. No, Ryan has a lot of speed. He's very fast. Oh, it's great. He learns a lot off of that. Honoring my cop. It's very important for a fighter when they when they train and they get in the ring oh. and spar. That was a great left hook. Get in the ring and spar some champions, top class fighters. You know they know that you know, to the Ryan. ring tonight. You know showing his skills, his confidence. And he said he's a boxing historian. He loves watching fights. His favorite fight to watch. You've got a young fighter who drops people in the gym all the time in Virgil Legend. Very charismatic kid. I asked him, you know, how do you not get overconfident? He said, I know there's a Sugar Ray Leonard who came away with the victory. Nowadays, you don't see a lot of young fighters going for the theory. ring in the gym against fighters like Vasil Lomachenko, like Jorge Linares, and holding my own. That's where Ortiz and Ryan Garcia has a win over Virgil in the amateurs. How do you not let a youngster just say, man, I can do this whenever I want? There it is, though. You can do it whenever you want. Yes. All right. Eight seconds left here in round number one. Garcia already put his power on him. Huh. lunges in, catches him with a great left hook. Right, exactly, for example, there. See, Ryan has fast feet. On Instagram, this kid does some impressive things on that Cobra bag, but it's the. You know, it's amazing that he's such a young man, but he's very poised and he's always on what this career can mean to him. He said, you know, he he looks like a mature professional 2010 fight. He he's walking him down. He throws the feints once in a while, and he's keeping that in some incredible footwork and speed. Look at his Instagram page. Oh, he did exactly what he wanted. At some point, that's not going to be the case, and we'll have to see what his character is. So far, he hasn't needed to appeal to that because he's taking care of business. See, and what he does is demoralizes his fighters, walk, walking out. them down. You know, Oscar, although at the end of his career, he, he kind of disintegrated, he said, but at their peak, that's what he's looking at. And, and you can't appeal to anything higher than those names that he mentioned. Exactly. You want to you apply, you need to apply pressure on Ryan Garcia. Because if you give him that, this is the thing. That's what he's doing so far here through two. It's Back a in, exactly. In, in, there's a left hook. See, that's why against a fighter like Ryan Garcia, you cannot pull back. In the moment, it's already been proven. They're in round number one, and there you see the know, defense of Ryan Garcia. Because yeah. those are deadly. Those are deadly mistakes against a fighter like Ryan Garcia catches you at the right time. He has great speed, and most important, he has great timing. I don't want to be known as that kid who knocked out that guy on ESPN Sports Center Top 10. Because I want to go down. He's got a vision for himself, and if he can continue to land that left hook and use his speed, he has the tools to complete that mission. In the fight, obviously he is losing, but you're putting him at risk by telling him, "Hey, go get." You. But um, Ryan Garcia's father gave him the correct instructions. Train power of Ryan Garcia. And Ryan Garcia just Here, cannot them, afford though to get too fight. crazy. A fighter that is in trouble. Throws punches from every angle, and you don't see those. Henry is telling him, hey, be careful. He's lunging, trying to create oh, opportunity. Like Gilberto Becerra is yelling at him, saying, you got to go get him. It's a sense of out, desperation. How does that Great. affect the fighter? Well, not through, but there was nothing behind it after Garcia beat length. Yeah, it's just that sometimes a lot of fighters, are, they have longer reach, and they're taller. They're slower. You know? It's it's a big plus because there's fighters that only fight coming forward, but when you apply pressure and they're moving backwards, they don't move Valenzuela here. Big left hand there from Ryan Garcia. You see Valenzuela's legs. He's wow. just reaching so far is Valenzuela. Despite his Freak, five and a half back. inch reach advantage, he has to reach. Watch that right hand go down. He can catch him with a left hook on the way in. Already caught. And when you look at Ryan Garcia, he's, he told us that with the replay. And, Let uh, him go. Break. Ryan Garcia Stop was holding. mentioning there's a five and a half inch reach advantage for Valenzuela. Ryan Valenzuela. I expected him to be a lot taller, but he's the same size as me. There, it looked like a slip. Oh. And that's exactly what Tony's going to Stay low. Stay low. But every time he throws his jab, he drops his right hand. Uh, 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 he's going to end up getting caught with Stop. a left hook. Go see after him. Oh, and he catches. He catches Ryan, but then he gets hand beautifully. Played.
placed. Four, five, six, seven. Did there. Valenzuela threw his best punch of the night and he gets caught and he's about to get finished here as the bell sounds. Brian got, there's the right that hurt him and then the left is the one that sent him down on the canvas. So, and now the makes him pay. It was a straight right that came in. Looks like the dejection on Cesar Valenzuela's face and it's gonna be another shot in the ropes, kind of hold up. But I think for about Victorville, California, King Roy Garcia! Garcia made an impressive statement here on Golden Boy Boxing.